Hi, this is Zach. Today I'm here to talk to you about vectors. A vector in R is basically uh, an object that contains multiple values of the same type. So for example, let's say you're teaching CB2201 operations management, which is a very interesting class. Suppose you're teaching four sections, which have 120, 115, 122, and 108 students, respectively. In that case, it makes sense to create a vector containing the number of students in each section, like so. You create a vector using the C function. And now, the students uh, variable is a, is a vector with four numbers which is the number of students in each section. You can use the length function to calculate how many elements are in the vector. So obviously there are four. You can also use the square brackets to access the ith element of the vector. For example, students square brackets one is the first element. Students square brackets two is the second element. Uh, there are many R functions can handle and operate on vectors. Uh, so, for example, one way to compute or calculate the total number of students across all sections is to write the following code, uh, and that's 465 students. However, if you want to use this approach, it can get quite tedious, especially if there are thousands of elements in that vector. Fortunately, there's a function called sum, which allows you to sum all of the elements of the vector just by writing it like so, sum students. You can also use the mean function to calculate the average number of students in a section, or the summary function to calculate kind of the summary statistics, such as the mean, minimum, the first quartile, the median, the mean, the third quartile, and the max. Sometimes a vector may contain missing values. So as an example, let's say there's a vector with the values 1, 2, 3, and NA, which is the missing value. If you try to sum this function, you will get NA. The reason is uh, that anything plus NA is NA. If you want to ignore the missing values, you have to use the arguments na.rm equals true. So here, na.rm means remove the na values. Uh, if you're not, if you want to find out a bit more about that, you can read the documentation for the sum function by typing question mark sum. See, so right here it talks about what na.rm does. Okay, so sometimes you want to create a vector which is a regular sequence. So for example, if you want to list the numbers from A to B, such as from 5 to 10, you can do five, use the colon operator. 5 colon 10 creates the vector of numbers from 5 to 10. More generally, you might want to create a regular sequence which has a different step size, not equal to the step size of 1. In that case, you can use the sequence function, or seq. So you, you have to tell when the sequence starts, when the sequence stops, and the step size. You might have noticed uh, that R often prints in the output R always prints these square brackets and a number in there. So what those number what does that mean? Let's print these sequence of numbers from 1 to 100 to find out. What you notice is that the first number has brackets 1 beside it, the 21st number has brackets 21 beside it, and so on. So this bracket means the you know, if this is 61, it means the next value is the 61st value of that vector. 
All right. Uh, the most important rule of vectors is that the vector contains elements of the same type. And if you try to put elements of different types into the vector, it, R will automatically change the data types of the elements to make sure that they are of the same type. So for example, uh, 3 is numeric, true is logical, but if you put them in the same vector, you notice that the true gets converted into a number, and then the class of the vector is numeric. Similarly, if you try to put the number 3, the logical true, and the, and the character string durian into the same vector, all of the values get converted into character strings, and the class of, of the vector is character. All right. Uh, finally, I wanted to show you a few more uh, vectorized functions or operators. So for example, you can add one vector to another, like so. What happens is the first element is added to the first element, so 1 plus 3 is 4, and the second element is added to the second element, so 2 plus 4 is 6. Uh, I also wanted to mention that there are two minimum type functions. The first one, min, just finds the smallest value out of all the numbers in, given to this function. So the smallest value of the vector 1, 3 and the vector 2, 4, 2 is 1. The parallel or the element-wise minima function pmin works element-wise. So it computes the smallest value of the first element, which is 1 or 4, which in this case is 1, and the smallest value of the second element. The second elements are 3 and 2, in this case it's 2. So min and pmin give different results, and you shouldn't mix them up. You need to know which one you are using, you want to be using. All right, so that's all for vectors. See you next time. Bye.